Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Greatest Prototype and for this uh, video I'm actually gonna show or do the part on live, live system so first of all what you want to do is actually create a game manager just to store this game manager script as you can see it's playing now because I deleted it so that I can show you guys so what you want to do there's a few things you want to do there's two you need the total of two scripts one is the game manager, game manager script that contains your life and score or whatever it is but basically it's where most of your UIs will be at and another script will actually be the collision for the player because as you can see I can just pass through everything without dying and stuff like that so first of all what you want to do is actually we will first focus on the game manager script so go ahead and uh, actually first of all make your live tags and your score tags in your canvas so what I actually want I what I want to do in this uh, live one is when let's say this is actually equivalent to my number of life so this is 3, 2, 1 so if I lose a life and then this will actually reduce to 2 so first what you want to do is actually uh, make a score tags just make a score tags don't worry about the font size. Uh, this actually from uh, I actually got this font uh, font from a website. So don't worry. I'll tell, I'll send you details on, like where do you get the font at, or you can actually just Google search. But I'll just send you uh, no matter what. So go ahead and make uh, score text. Whenever you're done and you are you find that you are good with this size, you are you like the size and the font size. Okay. So now. What you want to do, create a C sharp script and name it game manager. Sorry, game manager and open the script. So, what you want for the script is you want a few things. First of all, you need your lives, so probably integer lives. is I just put it like leave it like this. So this is my life and you also want your integer score. Alright. So what you want to do here is you also want to add your it's called text. So public text and if I'm gonna add the text remember to use add a namespace on UI. So you need engine dot UI and once you have that you are able to add text here and basically this is my score text this okay so for these images this one to this three planes over here what I actually did is just basically take out the plane here and put it under the images basically they don't have a script included every single script from them just been taken out and they don't have an aim to fire whatever it is and I took out the player tag as you can see I took out the player tag for each of them basically this one is just for image purposes for this so I named them according to one two three after you make one of it just duplicate them and name them one two three and after that so what you want to do is make three what you want to do is actually make three game objects based on them. So this is lives one. We just go ahead and copy paste it. Okay, stuff like that. And two, three. All right. So basically, what I actually want to do for this part is when I actually die, or let's say I lose a life, I actually wait for a few seconds. And then after that, I'll go back to the same scene, but then my life will be updated. Now, you, if you do know that if, let's say, uh, every single time you will restart, you actually everything, every single variable will actually reset back to the original. Uh, the reason why is when your application uh, load level changes, you actually, uh, s the lives of this will actually be reset to the same amount as what you did for the start. This is actually quite. It's actually normal. There's nothing wrong on what you actually do. So even let's say you add, even let's say you put life minus minus when you die, uh, 
and then when you reset, your life will still actually go back to let's say you have three lives, but let's say then you lose life, which means you have two. When we start the scene, you actually go back to three life. That is now all right. But don't worry, we actually, um, I'll actually teach you the part on that. So after we make that, we also I also need a boolean uh, to say that it actually the player is dead or something. Like that. Excuse me. So. I'll just put dead and it goes to false. And another one, make a timer, so private uh, float timer with time. And this will be 2.5 seconds. I want it to wait for 2.5 seconds and then you restart scene. So what can you do for this part first? So first of all, what you want to do is update your life. So let's say if the first thing you want to do is when your life is, let's say when it's uh, three, then all three images will show up. And when it's two, this will be false because you only have two lives. And when it's one, this two will be false because it's only one life. So what you want to do if what you want to do is if lives if it goes to three, three, then lives one dot uh, selective is true. Now to go ahead and do the same thing for the rest. So this is like this two three. So if if life is equal to 2 let me just expand this out but here you actually want them want the third life to be false so just put this to false simple as that now, since you know what you're gonna do for the next one, so if life is equals to one, then go ahead, do rest, two, three, if life's equals to zero, and everything will false. Now after you've done that, go back to your scene and drag your script to the game manager, which is here. Okay, never mind. Let me just Oh there's no errors. Okay, give a minute. So what's my error? What? Oh, okay, because my previous one have an update score. So let me just quickly do this. So what you want to do is you want to update your score of this from the previous video. So I'm just going to quickly do that part as yes, I already explained that. So. So now you want to just simply drag all your stuff here, except for score text, because I've been that. So like this and player one, two, three. All right. So if I start, and I can just change it freely. You actually you should see my image here disappear. And it's one. This is zero, one, two, three. Alright, let's that. 
So once you've done that, you drag all the one, two, three here with your skull tags. So next, what you want to do is uh, you want to update your score. I mean, when you when you when you get hit, you want to lose life, and and then you will update your life stuff like that. So now. Let's go back to my, our player script. I mean, let's pick a new script called Player Collision. Oh my god, okay, give me it. And. That's not what I want to put. Okay. So once you add the player collision, so this one, what you want to do is void on trigger enter. So you, let's say you get hit. Enter collider other. So basically, this is this is the part where we get hit by the bullet. And what you want to add is a public game object. Hmm. Give me a minute. Game manager, so this will be the one that is a game manager, and you also want a player, your player to be here, so that when you lose life, your player will actually destroy or selective off. Up, uh, it's up to you, totally up to you. So let's say if your other dot game object dot tag is your enemy bullet, which is Let's see your, what your enemy bullet is. So let's go to prefab, projectiles, and we enemies. And enemy bullet is name enemy bullet. Alright. So if you get hit by enemy bullet, so basically, enemy bullet is, you know, basically enemy fire projectile. That projectile is uh, called enemy bullet. Alright. So if let's say you get hit by enemy bullet, your player set active will be off, will be false, or you can destroy it, it's up to you, but I'll just put it to false for now. And then what you want to do is game manager uh, dot get component and our script here, game manager dot uh, Dead is true, which which calls the component uh, the tri the bullet later on, and then what you want to do is game manager dot get component game manager dot life minus one. All right. Simple as that. So let's say if uh, we get hit. Oh wait. First of all, so where where I want to put the script is actually here. So this is the actual player without anything that only has widget body and a trigger. So basically, drag your script in here. Your player collision. And just simply drag your game manager and player. No, this not player. The whole player, all right. So I just quicken my. So as you see, I get hit by the bullet. Okay, let me just quickly jump my player out. As you can see, my game objects really selective, and I actually lose a life. And when I get hit, 
uh, this will be true and this will actually minus a light but the thing is when the now we actually want to do is you want to reset your I mean you want to update your life whenever you uh, restart your scene or let's say when you lose a life I mean so let's go back to our game manager and basically at your if that is true if that is true or uh, what you want to do so if that is true your wait timer will actually minus equals time dot delta time and if your wait timer is less than zero what you want to do uh, you want to set back your date is false uh, wait timer go back to the same 2.5f and also you want okay the wait timer is 2.5 your date is false and oh yeah or you also want your application dot load level zero or one because uh, I have a new scene right here which is the main scene which I will cover up in the future so all this 2.5 1 and false so after that after you set all this there this should actually happen so just quickly get this out oh, oh yeah by the way I may want to print my wait time so let's print our wait time so that you can see it's actually updating alright so let's print the wait time here so if I get hit <coughs> so if I get hit can see my scene actually resets but my life is actually back to 3 which is not what we actually want but this is normal this is what I actually meant uh, just now so what you want to do here is actually be uh, actually gonna use prayer press so what prayer press does is actually they save the they save your data on your, your or your integer and then whenever you restart your scene your integer will actually stay the same number from your previous hit so let's say if my life is let's say at the start is 3 but if I get hit it actually goes to 2 right and then this prayer prep basically they save your your 2 they save your number of lives and then when they restart your life will still go back to 2 instead of going back to 3 but the problem is when you stop play or whenever you stop you stop playing and play again your life will actually goes to 2 yes, this will actually save uh, you will save an, uh, t entirely forever unless you change it so first of all what you want to do is actually uh, we want to actually make our player press thing alright so basically player press what it actually does is uh, it actually it saves your stuff like that's not what I said so what you want to do here is it under the update we want to set the integer on our on our lives and our score but for now I'll do lives first so basically you set in integer of your lives and then lives like this simple as that so basically when I do this, whenever this line is basically I I get the number of lives here and then I'll always update it because it's under under the update function. So let's say I put to two and this will always, always be set to two. So basically that's what setting teacher does. So let's say when I play it now, it's choose three lives, right? So if I just quickly pause it and I change my lives to two. And when I stop play and I restart, I go with the three. Never mind. All right. So 
how you want okay basically this is not enough to actually restart um, set your life to the same I mean we update your life basically so this is not the only thing besides that you will also want to put your prayer prayers in your start as well so basically get integer is this thing called get integer as well and what it does is it actually uh, updates your life accordingly from your from what you what is updated in the update function so basically if it's, this is 2 right so this will actually set your integer to 2 and then when you restart the scene actually you will go back to the start and then you will get your integer from life which is 2 and then you will show 2 so now I actually play and I see it 2 and when I stop play ok now my give me Okay, so let's say if I, oh, okay, actually, you know what? So now after this, I want them to lose life. Okay, so now let's play and then let's check it out. Okay, it didn't really work out that well. And notice the error so what you want to do is you want to set your life equals your player prefs dot get integer for lives so now if I play and I set my life to 2 from my game manager and when I pop, I mean continue to play and I restart my life actually restarts uh, now starts at 2 so now basically uh, what I type is wrong just now so should you basically change <coughs> your get in uh, your get integer part so instead of writing prepref dot get integer lives you put your life is equals to your number of lives that you actually set in the function so once you've done that and yeah there you have it actually so let's say when you restart your scene your life will actually update now so now when you play it's always 3 so I'm just gonna set back to 3 and now let's actually lose life so there we go so let's say if I get hit, I wait 2.5 seconds and then I'll restart scene with 2 lives, which is what we want. So now actually we have done for the lives part, we want to do for the score now. We can actually update our score. So basically it's the same thing on what we do, just did this now. So this is our score. It's pretty much the same thing on what you do for your... lives then like this and I think that's pretty much really it okay so now let's check our uh, score so let me just quickly do this 3 and just put 1000 for now and I stop play oops sorry So actually our score here is 1000 but our score here is 0 because we never update in the update function. So basically just copy paste this and put it on the, under the update and there we are done here actually. That's it. And you don't need to see this wait time anymore, you can do this one out. So now when you play, your score will be updated. So now I just quickly put back the 2 and 3 and 
I'll see you guys in the next video where we continue the update for this part because this is not only the end we also want to up, uh, set this back to the same 3 and 0 that's why I actually make a new scene over here like this is just pretty much basic for now so what I actually want to set is when I'm in this scene all my values of my lives and my uh, score will actually go back to normal or the original amount and then when I play the scene you all set back to the same so um, this is not only the one two uh, besides that there's also the part where well, let's say you collect let's say you have double and then when you lose a life and restart the scene you have the double again which is not what we want because from the radius when you actually lose uh, when you actually lose a life uh, all your power ups will be gone so I'll see you guys on the next uh, video on that part there and I'll see you guys then